Hello everybody, I'm Kevin from Pieces of the Ocean, and today I'm going to walk you through some of our favorite symbiotic relationships we have here at the store. So what are symbiotic relationships? Symbiotic relationships or symbiosis are close associations between two different animals of different species. They are important because there's different types. There's parasitic and there's mutualistic as well as many others. Today we'll be talking about mutualistic relationships. Up first is the yellow watchman goby and the pistol shrimp. So the pistol shrimp is actually entirely blind and so it builds complex tunnels under the sand for both the pistol shrimp and the watchman goby to live in. In return, the watchman goby keeps an eye out for him and he also keeps him well fed. Another cool fact is that there's multiple species of shrimp gobies and pistol shrimp, meaning that this relationship has been going on for thousands, maybe even millions of years. The watchman goby is actually pretty cool because it has a distinct personality. It's always mean mugging people and always keeping an eye out for his pistol shrimp counterpart. Right now, I'm gonna try and come in and see if he stands his ground against me. Alright, if you come over here, I'll show you the next symbiotic relationship we're going to talk about, which is the clownfish and the anemone. So these are some type of rainbow bubble tip anemones, and we have some Wyoming white and snowstorm clownfish in here with them. Just like the shrimp and goby, these guys also have a symbiotic relationship. The clownfish protect the anemone and keep it well fed, while the anemone provide protection for the clownfish. The anemones have potent stingers on them that sting all other fish and surrounding corals. However, clownfish have evolved to have a, a mucus on their skin, which protects them from the stingers of the anemone. I believe this video would be a miss if I were not to mention that every tank across the globe relies on symbiotic relationships. Everyone knows that a tank must be cycled in order to have livestock. However, what they sometimes don't know is that a cycled aquarium basically means that there's an ecological balance between algae, bacteria, fish, and corals, and any other livestock that's in the aquarium. Another cool fact is that corals are endosymbionts meaning that they cannot survive without a symbiotic algae that lives inside of its skeleton. This algae is known as zooxanthellae, and this relationship has existed for nearly 25 million years. This relationship is the backbone of all coral reefs around the world and the coral reefs in our tanks. funny symbiotic relationship that exists at Pieces of the Ocean is between the staff members and the tanks. These tanks help keep our frag plugs clean and they also keep the tank itself clean. Because we have such a diverse ecosystem inside of this tank, it allows everything to flourish. The bacteria and all these populations have stabilized and in doing so, it brings stability to our tank. So those are some of the symbiotic relationships we have here at Pieces of the Ocean. Let us know down below what your favorite symbiotic relationship was and let us know if you have any questions. I hope you guys learned something new and gained a new perspective. Thank you for watching.